Ephesians 5 15 to 16. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Take advantage of new opportunities to strengthen your faith and create meaning in your everyday life. Dear Lord, thank you so much for another day of life on earth. Thank you for another beautiful sunrise to enjoy. Thank you for the wonderful sounds of nature, from the cool breeze brushing through the trees to the birds singing melodies. You are a wonderful God, full of grace and mercy. I praise you for allowing me another day to spend with my family. I love you Father. Amen. Proverbs 27 19 As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Your life is a reflection of the ideals and faith you hold in your heart. The areas where you spend time and energy reveal what's really important to you. Dear Lord, help me remember what a difference it makes when I make time with you a priority in my morning. Awaken me in body and spirit each day with a desire to meet with you and to hear you speak words of affirmation, assurance and wisdom over my heart as I prepare to go into my day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Proverbs 21 21. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Prioritizing your spiritual growth will allow you to flourish. Continuing to develop your relationship with God is the key to building a life that brings you pride. Father, Clear my sleepy head and fill my mind with expectation. Awake my slow body and energize my heart with love in action. Ignite my spirit and set this day on fire with promise. Make the ordinary extraordinary. Engage me, show me your kingdom alive. Help me to see that every waking moment is full of promise because of you. Amen. John 6 35. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus tells that by dedicating yourself to him, he will provide for you. Your spiritual needs will be fulfilled, as will some of your other tangible needs. Lord, I give you all that I am this day. Please brush away my weariness, so that I may be inspired in my work. Help me to discover new ways to reveal your love to all I meet. Keep my mind clear and focused on all I need to achieve, and give me the wisdom to overcome difficulties and find solutions. I look to you and trust you are with me this day. Amen. Proverbs 10:17 Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Remaining steadfast and dedicated in your faith allows you to lead by example. You must be open to direction from God in order to continue being a good example of faith. Dear gracious Father, I praise you for my family. Thank you for my spouse. Even in their weaknesses, I love them unconditionally. Thank you for my children. Every time I hear the pitter-patter of their feet across the house I smile. Joy overwhelms me Father. Be with my family today as they go their separate ways. Bring us all back home safely to each other I pray. Amen. Acts 20 24. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me, my only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, 
The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. One of the best things you can do as a follower of God is to share His grace with others. By doing so, you create meaning in your own life. As the sun rises, may your love rise in my heart. A love that dispels tiredness. A love that overcomes difficulty. A love that builds relationship. A love that inspires diligence. A love that delivers excellence. A love that develops trust. A love that produces praise. Lord, may I live in the light of your love. Amen. Matthew 6:34. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. It's easy to get caught up worrying about the future. But as this verse reminds you, it's important to focus on the here and now. Take your life day by day. Dear Lord, you have brought me to the beginning of a new day. As the world is renewed fresh and clean, so I ask you to renew my heart with your strength and purpose. Forgive me the errors of yesterday and bless me to walk closer in your way today. This is the day I begin my life anew, shine through me so that every person I meet may feel your presence in me. Take my hand, precious Lord for I cannot make it by myself. Amen. 1 John 5:12. Whoever has the Son has life, whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Welcoming Jesus into your world and giving your spirit over to Him will help ensure that you have a fulfilling and happy life. I come before you, O Lord. As the sun rises, may your hope rise up in me. As the birds sing, may your love flow out of me. As the light floods into this new day, may your joy shine through me. I come before you, O Lord, and drink in this moment of peace, that I may carry something of your hope, love, and joy today in my heart. Matthew 6:25. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? We could all be reminded to stop sweating the small stuff. This verse serves as a reminder that God will take care of you, so you don't have to worry. Lord. Grant me tenacious winsome courage as I go through this day. When I am tempted to give up, help me to keep going. Grant me a cheerful spirit when things don't go my way. And give me courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name, Amen. John 8:12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As long as you walk with Jesus, you will always know where you're meant to be going. He can help guide you through difficult moments as you walk side by side. Lord. May nothing separate me from you today. Teach me how to choose only your way today, so each step will lead me closer to you. Protect me from my own careless thoughts, words, and actions. And keep me from being distracted by my wants, my desires. Help me to embrace what comes my way as an opportunity. Most amazing is that the Savior of the world would desire a few minutes with me this morning. Lord, help me to forever remember what a gift it is to sit with you like this. Amen.
James 1.12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. There will be moments that test your faith. But if you stay strong and trust in God, you will be rewarded. Lord, help me to live this day, quietly, easily, to lean on your great strength, trustfully, restfully, to wait for the unfolding of your will, patiently, serenely, to meet others, peacefully, joyfully, to face tomorrow, confidently, courageously.